Hey guys, I just wanted to give everybody an update on my uh, snorkel kit intake system that I'm kind of trying to prototype and mock up here. As you can see, I'm just kind of in a fiberglass mode for a prototype. Um, but it's been a while since I, I posted anything about even doing this. I didn't want Scott to get run away with <laughs> that badass setup he had. So I wanted to show you kind of how I'm doing it uh, just so you can see what's about to go to ABS plastic. Um, this is the new canister prototype filter. Uh, it's going to fit a KNN. Forgot the number. Uh, it's about an 8 inch cone filter. But you can see um, kind of where I've got this thing plumbed for. This is where the snorkel is going to pop out, one of the back hatches. You guys know where this is. Pretty much you pop off the panel and it runs right back down to the cavity. And it's pretty sweet. It's a pretty slick little setup. I mean, when you're. When you're driving and stuff, it's just kind of sleeper. You don't even really know that there's a new intake there. But nonetheless, canister is my first attempt putting this thing in, so bear with me. Pretty much have to thread the new canister back here. And I'm actually doing this. Um, you can kind of see how this runs. Like I said, this is the first time I've done this since I fiberglass this thing up. And it just follows back here and you can see where I put that intake is right here and that just mates and there's gonna be uh, it's gonna be drilled into your stock hole so that thing is just gonna mate up right here with the snorkel intake all silicone sealed in and uh, it won't be sitting on the motor when it's set up it's actually gonna be up a little higher up here um, super easy to access um, keeps you nice and high and dry but here we go Let's see if I can get this thing just set up so I can mock this up for you guys anyway you get the point all right so then I had the issue of okay running a hose or how I'm gonna get this thing going I did a lot of research on a best way to compress this air and get it flowing in there smooth so I built a plenum that pretty much takes all that air and forces it into a two inch hole where the throttle body is and this thing once you've stuck the, the air filter right inside here this thing just kind of slides right up under here and it's just gonna connect and seal tight with silicone and it's gonna run pretty much, as you can see, right next to the throttle body. And there's gonna be, a, I've got the silicone tube that mounts just a little U, 180 degree tube, it goes from here, straight in. And um, sounds like a good idea. I have no idea, we'll find out if it works or not. But I just wanted to give you guys an update, show you what I've been doing. I mean, it's pretty solid fiberglass. I gotta get this thing sanded down. Uh, make it look pretty get all the connectors hooked up and then uh, pop it on once I've got it popped on though um, I mean it's pretty pretty compact I mean it, it's you're gonna have all this free space up here um, to do whatever you want the breather hose is gonna come straight into the silicone right where it was supposed to be put a nipple on there um, you got tons of free space down here once it's freed up and everything will be nice and tucked up underneath there high and dry and you pretty much have to be chest deep in water to get this thing wet but it'll be watertight waterproof all right this is titan dwarf signing off